These are the $18 Timu cleats and these are the $30 Wish cleats. And today we're gonna see which ones are better. Ah, so unfortunately both of these cleats come in bags and not boxes, which kind of sucks, but I mean, what do you expect for 20 and 30 bucks? My first impression on the Wish cleat is actually a lot better than I expected. So the upper is like very flexible, which I like, and the material is pretty grippy and it's not too thick. But on the other hand, with the Timu cleats, these things are the complete opposite. The upper material is way too thick. It just feels kind of light and cheap, and it's also just not flexible whatsoever. Jumping into the design though, they actually have the exact same stud pattern. And I think that's because they're both just modeled after the Mercurial Superfly. So on the upper of the cleat, you actually have this really cool blue and white design. And then <laughs> you have the gold ugly Nike sign, well, Nike sign that goes all the way around the cleat. It just looks so cheesy. But then you go up to the sock and it actually feels pretty nice. It's, you know, not too firm and the material is pretty soft, but where the sock and the shoe connect, that just looks disgusting. It looks stitched just terribly. But other than that, it's not too bad. I'd give it like an eight out of 10 on looks. Oh, but then we go over to the Timu cleat and it just, it just sucks. So you go back to the same Nike swoosh shine that goes all the way around. And then it's got this black and white design with this nasty yellow on the bottom, but it just doesn't look good with the mercurial letters. And then we go up to the sock and the material just feels super scratchy. It's probably about the same flexibility as the Wish one, but the one thing this cleat does have that's better than the Wish one is when you pull apart the sock, it exposes like an orange, which I think is really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a six out of 10. So Wish gets the point here. First impression with the Timu cleats is awful. These things feel stiff as a brick and they feel so loose on me, even though I tighten them like all the way. I was about ready to roast the heck out of these cleats too. They are still super loose, but the comfort and padding on the inside of these is so much better. So Wish definitely wins the comfort round. Timu really needs to start picking it up in these performance categories, or Wish is just gonna sweep this whole thing. And they are not starting out hot. I really do not like how stiff these things feel when you're juggling. A lot less stiff. I feel like I can do so much more with these cleats. Honestly, both of these cleats suck for juggling. These ones just happen to suck a little bit less. The only problem with these is they're a little bit too big on me. But what I did like is that the upper is really thin so that way I can feel the ball on my foot. That's like the most important thing for me. And that also had a good amount of flexibility so my foot could wrap around the ball. But Timu on the other hand was literally the complete opposite. The upper was way too thick so I couldn't feel the ball on my foot whatsoever. And it also just feels stiff as a brick which is just one of the biggest pet peeves of mine. So once again, Wish takes this round. Although juggling might be a total opinion, traction is not. So Timu cleats are going first. Ooh, those babies felt pretty nice, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know which team you guys are rooting for, but team who actually showed up for once and did a good job. All right, here we go. Oh. The wish cleats actually grabbed pretty well, but my foot rolled in them way too much. So ladies and gentlemen, Timu finally showed up and got its first point. Both of them weren't too bad, but Wish definitely takes that one. I just felt more comfortable on the ball with them. Poor Timu. Last and probably most important for me, we're gonna do some shooting. Let's see how it goes. Let's try for a knuckleball. Ooh! Ah. Uh -uh. Ooh! Ooh! There we go. Nope. All right, now we're trying it with the wish cleats. The team who actually did perform pretty well, so. 
Ooh, okay, that's a movement. Upper left, or upper right. Oh, pretty sure the paint came off on that one. I hit the corner. Oh. So coming off the shooting, Timu actually takes this round and gets its second point. And the reason for that is because the padding on the upper was thicker, so it hurt a lot less when I was kicking the ball. But overall, unsurprisingly, Wish gets the win. It was just a better all around cleat. It just lacked in some minor categories. But if you guys are gonna spend 30 bucks on a shoe, please do not get either of these. I would recommend something like one of the lower Nike or Adidas models because I can guarantee you that those will last, you know, a year, year and a half. With these ones, I can't guarantee that they'd last more than two weeks. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.